So to start off this cut, we're going to go ahead and create our first bald line with our clipper closed and we're going to start at the top of the arch and we're going to go directly straight back throughout the entire head, right? So for this high fade, we're not going to drop it towards the back or do any curvature to this fade. It's going to be a straight front to back fade and I'm going to go ahead and do this all the way throughout the entire head. And as you can see, I'm making this line with my clipper closed. And what this is going to do is make it so much easier to get rid of that first bald line than if we were to use our trimmer that makes a much more harsh line, right? So I'm going in with my clipper closed and just connecting it with the other side, which I forgot to record. And now to get into the next step, we're going to go with our clipper all the way open. And you're going to see right here that I'm going up about a full inch, right? Because I want to ensure that I'm giving myself enough room to have a nice clean transition in this fade so you'll see me go over this line multiple times just to ensure i have a true clipper all the way open And you'll see I'm just continually going over it making sure it's still a clipper all the way open and I'm brushing as I do so just so I can ensure it's laying in its natural position and now to start getting rid of that first bald line I'm gonna go with my clipper halfway open and I'm gonna go ahead and tap that line right because we set in our bald line with our clipper closed then we created that guideline with our clipper open so technically the clipper halfway open should get rid of that line right so I went in halfway open and then I'm opening and closing the lever as needed to go ahead and get rid of that line. And I'm just going ahead and just playing with that lever, seeing what works and what doesn't. And the reason I'm going over and making sure that it's as detailed as possible is because I want to make sure that it's as blended as I can get it. So when I go back at the end to detail, I do not have that much work, you know, to do. So now to get into the next step, I'm going in with my one guard all the way open. And right here again, I'm going up about a full inch, making sure I give myself room to have that nice blurry fade. So this is our one guard open and I'm flicking out as I get towards the top of that guard line just so I don't make that line too harsh, you feel me? And now to get rid of that line, I'm going in with my half guard all the way open and then I'll gradually start to close that lever as needed until that line is completely blended out. And right here I just closed it all the way and then you'll see me start to open it and close it just so I can get into those dark areas that I didn't get the first time. And now I'm coming in with my clipper with no guard all the way open. And then I'm just detailing those areas that the half card couldn't get blended out. So you see me go in open and then start to close the lever as needed, just so I can get into those darker areas that were left behind. Using a lot of the corner of the blade, just so I don't raise up that fade much more because I want to keep it, you know, where I have it set. So I'm using the corner of the blade just so I can get into those dark areas without pushing the fade up too high. And you can see as we detail, it starts to come together little by little. And that's what it's all about is patience, making sure you're taking you're pay, taking time to pay attention to detail. And that's what's really gonna separate you. And now to get into our next step, I'm going in right here with my one and a half all the way open. And right here, I'm just going directly at the line, going up about a full inch. 
and I'm flicking out drastically as I move up into the length on top because I want to make sure that it's easy to get rid of when I come in with my thinning shears. So this is my one and a half open. And you'll see me right under that one and a half open. Go ahead and close that lever just to go ahead and blend uh, that one open into it a little bit better. And now I'm gonna come back with my one guard open and go ahead and get rid of that line that the one and a half couldn't get rid of fully. So I'm going in open and closing that lever as needed. So you can see I'm detailing as I move up higher into my fade just so when I get to the end, I do not have too much cleanup work to do. And this is just a different system that you can use and if it works better for you, great. And if not, you know what I mean? There's plenty of others of ways to fade. And now this is our two guard all the way open. And with this, we're not really making a line. I'm blending into the top as I do this guard, right? So I'm going in and I'm kind of coming off the shape of his head and I'm flicking out drastically. So when I come in with clipper over comb or, or my thinning shears, that'll just blend seamlessly and a lot smoother, right? And then one right under that two guard open, I'm coming in with my one and a half open and then closing as needed just as we've been doing. And as we do that, that blend will really start to come together. And now I'm coming in with my one guard open, doing some more cleanup work, detailing as we go. And you can see I'm fading one side of the head at a time, and that's just for recording purposes. It makes it a lot easier, just so I don't have to re keep readjusting the camera. But usually I would just do this all the way throughout the entire head at once. And now to blend into the top a lot smoother and get that blend looking a lot blurrier, we're gonna go in with our thinning shears. And you'll see me go sideways here because this hair is starting to grow towards the front of his head. So I'm making sure that I'm combing against the grain and then any hair sticking out of that comb, I'm going ahead and attacking with my thinning shears. And this is just gonna get that blend looking a lot more smooth and fluid, as you can see. And I see some dark spots up in the front, so I'm going ahead and going in with my comb. And then going in with my thinning shears. And now to get into the other side of the fade, we are going to do the same exact steps. And with this side, I'm not gonna do too much explaining. I'm just gonna allow you guys to watch and kind of put the pieces to the puzzles to, to the puzzle together yourself. So I'm going to let you all do that now. While you guys are just following along, I want to go ahead and give you guys some encouragement, right? Because as barbers, we're continually, hopefully you're continually trying to elevate your skill level and get your haircuts to another level, right? But I want to encourage you guys to learn to enjoy the moment that you are in. Enjoy the progress that you have made thus far, right? Learn to master your skill set and your craft in the present moment, right? Stop focusing on the future. Stop focusing on what's next, right? Focus on where you're at, appreciate where you're at, and master the level that you're at now. So when it's time to go to that next level, you're ready, right? Because if you hurry up and skip where you're at in life right now, skip where you're at in your barbering career right now and don't prepare yourself and master and learn as much as you can in the present moment. When it gets to going to that next level, you might not be able to handle what comes with it. So I wanna encourage you guys to master your skill level, master the way you manage your time in this present moment. So when it's time to go to that next level, you're ready, you're prepared to just dominate it. You feel me? So right here, I'm just going in with my half guard to go ahead and get rid of that line. So I'm going in open and then I'm going ahead and closing that lever gradually as needed. And another thing, family, uh, I have not posted a YouTube video since I hit 10K on Instagram. So I recently just hit 10K on Instagram, which is my biggest goal this year. And I'm eternally grateful for your guys' support and, and love that you always give me. All right. That was my biggest goal this year. I have much more in store for this channel and my IG page and this upcoming year. But family, I just wanted to hop on here and tell you guys, thank you for the follows. Thank you 
for the likes and comments it means the world So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in here and give you guys some instruction. Right now I'm going in with my one and a half all the way open and I'm flicking out as I go up and I'm going up about a four inch here. And you'll see me directly that under that one and a half open, go ahead and close it just to blend the, that line out a little bit better. So right there, I just closed it and I'm going directly under that open, that one and a half open. And now in the back, there's some weight that the one and a half couldn't get out. So I'm coming back in with my one guard all the way open. And that's going to go ahead and blend that line out a lot better. And now we're going to go ahead to a big, our biggest guard that we're going to use, which is our two guard all the way open. And with this, again, we're not making a line. We're coming off the shape of the head and trying to blend into the link that he has on top as best as possible, right? So then we can follow it up with the thinning shears. And that's what's going to make this blend really smooth and the transition nice and gradual. And now right under that two guard open, there was some lines still left. So I'm coming back in with my one and a half open. I'm just playing with that lever and so those lines are blended out. And we're not going to touch the length on top in this haircut. He liked the length that he already had. So we're going to go ahead and keep uh, that length that he has already. And now we're coming in with our thinning shear. So I'm going in with the comb. And then as I move up into the hair, I'm flaring out. And then any hair sticking out of the comb, I'm going ahead and I'm just cutting with my thinning shear. And as we do that, it really makes that blend look a lot smoother. So I would definitely encourage you guys to invest in a pair of thinning shears. The ones I have, uh, I see you guys asking, is actually very cheap. I get them from Sally's. I do not know the name. But they're not anything, you know super expensive or, or high-end it's real cheap thinning sears from sally's so and now we're going to go ahead and connect the fade in the back from the left and right side so this is our clipper all the way open just uh picking up right where we left off and we're just going to do the same thing that we did on both sides and right now we're just connecting it so i'm getting rid of that first line going in with our clipper closed and then gradually opening that lever as I move up. And now we're coming in with our one guard all the way open. And you can see as we come in going up with our guards, it's starting to connect the sides very nicely. So this is our one guard open, making our second guideline. And now to get rid of that line that's in between the open and the one open, I'm going in with my half guard all the way open and then gradually going ahead and closing that lever. And the reason I left the hair at the bottom, right, is because I made my first uh, bald line with my clipper closed. But as well, what leaving that dark hair on the bottom does is allow us to have a contrast when we're blending. So it makes sure that I'm, I can see I don't know, kind of like the contrast in the fade, right? Those things that we need to go back in detail. So we can kind of act as that as well, but we're also going to ball that out with our trimmer here at the end. So I'm coming in with my one guard and just kind of detailing those dark spots. And now our biggest guard, which is our two guard open, we're coming in again and we're just coming off the shape of his head, not digging into his crown because we don't want to cut it too short. And now to soften up this blend, I'm coming in with my thinning shears. And you see, I'm going sideways because I want to go against the grain of the hair to make sure that I'm getting a nice even cut. And you can see as we do that, it really brings that blend together, especially in the back. It's coming together very nicely. If you like the cut so far, drop a comment down below if this is adding any value to you. And now we're going to go ahead and vault out the bottom with our trimmer. And I'm making sure that I'm not going up into that fade. I'm, I'm flicking out right to where I left off with that clipper closed. 
and you can see as we do that it just blends seamlessly letting the trimmer do the work i don't want to dig into the skin and cause any red irritation and now we're going to follow it up with our shaver just to get it a little bit closer to the skin and really allow that blend to pop and it also likes that makes the haircut stand out i mean not stand out but last longer and now we're not going to do anything crazy on this lineup we're just going to go ahead and line up his corners just to give it a more structured shape so i'm going ahead and just tapping at that line just giving it kind of a some symmetry right trying to keep it as natural as possible while getting it as sharp as possible and you'll see right here i'm doing trim over comb just to get rid of some weight that i saw right there towards his hairline area just cleaning up that box And now we are going to add some enhancement just to go ahead and darken up uh, that box area. And you can see it's just going to take that hairline to another level, this cut to another level. Something very natural looking. We didn't spray it on too heavy. We just kept it very natural. We're going to go ahead and do it on both sides. And now we're going to go ahead and hit it with the razor to get rid of those hairs that the trimmer couldn't get. But family my man came in looking like this so we went ahead and gave him a nice blend with a nice little lineup in the front we did not touch the top but make sure you hit that subscribe and like button drop a comment if this helped you in any way shape or form make sure you follow me at Drake clipper hands on ig but like always family i greatly appreciate you guys catch y'all next time